Okay, hey everyone. So, I just wanted to make a video, um, part two, about uh, Chemical Labs' new lubricant. I'm gonna tell you the secret. Um, I'm, high, I'm doing this while I'm driving to uh, a competition in Virginia because I'm about to lose my mind because I am so bored. I've been driving for 10 hours and I, I'm just going crazy. So, I just wanna talk on video for a little bit. So, uh, the secret that I mentioned in the other video is uh, the difference between a Newtonian and a non-Newtonian fluid. So normal silicone lube, our uh, weight one through five, tracks is 30, 50K. Uh, those are all Newtonian fluids, uh, more or less. If you apply force in the form of shear force, um, that puzzle, <coughs> the, the lubricant is not gonna change its viscosity. Uh, some of you might know like uh, cornstarch and water, uh, ketchup in particular, uh, some fluids are non-Newtonian, like a silly putty. Uh, that means when you apply force in the shear direction, uh, the viscosity will change and the, the thing will actually resist. Uh, that's, a, that's a chemical phenomenon known as thixotropy. When, uh, when molecules are said to be thixotropic, you apply shear force and uh, they become like, the viscosity goes way up. Uh, the, <coughs> the, the cool thing is, the opposite can also happen. You got, can actually have materials which, when you apply shear, they uh, become much faster. And that's what our lubricant does. Um, when it's not being turned, it's a little thick around the viscosity of... Uh, well, I can't tell you that. That's a secret. But uh, once you start turning fast, the lubricant starts to act really, really... It starts to change the behavior depending on how fast you're turning. So as you're slowing down the end of the turn, the viscosity will change and it'll help stop that cube in, in theory, it'll help stop the cube. And uh, when you're turning fast, like in the middle of a U2, it'll be fast. And it's barely noticeable, unless you're really looking for it. Like if you're really turning fast, you'll notice the change in viscosity. But the feel is really unique. I highly recommend it. Um, you should definitely try it. Um, to me, I think I've gotten the ratios down pretty well. The formulation's there. Uh, right now I'm testing for stability, um, seeing if I should add more stabilizer, um, but it's coming along pretty well. Those are the secrets. I've pretty much revealed all the secrets except the materials. And um, the reason I'm doing that is because there are so many materials that do this that <coughs> you would need a chemistry degree to even know where to begin to start. So I think it would be okay to safe, safe to say where our, our approach is going. And these are the reasons why our lubricant's pretty good. Um, we, all of our premiums we've been sending out lately have been very <coughs> various revisions of this lubricant. And uh, we've done internal testing and people really like it. Um, so I'm going to two competitions, uh, ODU Big Blue and uh, Athens in Georgia. And then I'm flying back to Virginia and then driving to New York <laughs> just in time to make everyone's cubes. So it's a really busy weekend. But I'm really hoping that at these two competitions people will try the lube and they'll give feedback and based on their feedback, we can hopefully get this out to you soon. So, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, back to driving, I've probably got two more, I've got two more hours to go, and then after that, it's six more hours until the competition, so uh, I'm hoping I do well. Thanks for listening.